Absolute worst. That's how the Kansas City Fire Chief described the scene following the death of two of his firefighters. This morning, an entire city is mourning their deaths. Crews responded to this massive fire near Independence and Prospect late Monday evening, and it was in no way a routine call. Yeah, the flames and smoke destroyed apartments and businesses and caused the building to collapse. Now, 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez joins us live from that scene where fire crews still remain this morning. Andres, what can you tell us this, this morning? They are, Patrick, right now it is simply devastating news for the Kansas City Fire Department this morning. In just a few hours, less than two hours now, we are expected to learn the name of the two fallen firefighters who lost their lives in this structure right behind me. Let me get out of the way and show there is really simply not much left of that building that they fought to save last night. Crews were called out here just after 7.30 last night. Fire officials say four firefighters were injured when they were hit by debris. It happened as they were clearing an area of the burning building that was expected to collapse and it did. All four firefighters were initially transported to an area hospital. Two of them died from their injuries. Chief Paul Berardi told us of their deaths and here's what he had to say. It's difficult when you when you live with somebody for 24 hours a day and you're laughing and joking one minute and then and then something like this happens uh, in the line of duty and and what is good for their families to remember is that they did not die in vain. They saved two civilians, uh, carrying them out of the second floor on ladders uh, before the wall collapsed. Now, as for the two other injured firefighters, one was released from the hospital last night and another one stayed in the hospital for observations overnight. And now again, in less than two hours from now, we are expected to learn the names of those two fallen firefighters. We'll be carrying that news conference live here on Channel 41 and over on 38 The Spot. And if you're not near a television at that time, you could go ahead and watch it live on your uh, internet on KSHB.com on either your phone or on the computer. Reporting live in Kansas City this morning, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.